Hi there, welcome to Fuji Japan Travel. In this episode, we're diving into the vibrant cafe scene of Tokyo. From newly opened trendy spots to Instagram famous cafes with charming decor, and even a cafe nestled in a museum. We've handpicked 10 must-visit places, so stick with us till the end to discover them all. Let's get started. Our first stop is a conveniently located cafe within walking distance from Tokyo Station. Known as a hub for various transportation lines, Tokyo Station is likely a spot you'll visit during your Tokyo trip. Right outside the Yesa South exit, nestled in a building directly connected to the station. This cafe offers easy access and is just a seven-minute walk from Kyobashi Station on the Ginza Line. If you find yourself at Tokyo Station early, you might consider the usual Starbucks or McDonald's for a quick break. However, they can get quite crowded. Our featured cafe, on the other hand, offers a more spacious and relaxed atmosphere, perfect even if you're carrying large luggage. The cafe's concept is a taste of serendipity, with a variety of drinks, sweets, and alcoholic beverages. You're bound to make some delightful discoveries. Their menu boasts over 20 types of coffee and tea, alongside a selection of homemade sweets displayed near the cash register. They also serve hearty options like sandwiches and curry, making it an ideal spot for breakfast or a casual lunch. And for those after work moments, they offer beer, wine, and snacks too. For today's visit, I went with a classic ice latte paired with a brownie. The brownie might be a tad too cute for some, but its rich flavor, balanced with a dollop of cream and a tangy raspberry sauce, was absolutely delicious. Next up, let's explore a renowned coffee specialty shop located in the heart of Ginza, Tokyo's upscale district, famous for its array of high-end brand stores. Ginza is especially bustling during weekdays, often crowded with international tourists, many seen with shopping bags from luxury brands. In Ginza, amidst this opulence, our highlighted calf stands out for offering genuine specialty coffee. With a focus on single-origin coffee, they excel in showcasing the unique characteristics and flavors of beans from various regions. Their specialty lies in light roasted coffee, a treat for true connoisseurs. The shop itself has an open layout with a counter at the front and a few seats in the back. The interior combines woody elements with antique style furniture, creating a sophisticated and weighty atmosphere. The counter displays an impressive array of carefully selected beans from around the world, reinforcing its status as a coffee specialist. Over half of the customers are international visitors, reflecting the global appeal of their meticulously crafted coffee. The uniqueness of this cafe lies not just in its coffee but also in its distinctive ordering style. First, you select your preferred coffee beans. If you're not a coffee expert, don't worry. The baristas are there to guide you helping you choose based on your preferences and mood. Preferences and mood. After selecting the beans, you then choose how you want your coffee brewed. Options include hand drip, cappuccino latte, and more. While you might be used to grabbing a quick coffee, this cafe invites you to think more deeply about the origin and preparation of your drink -ater. Next on our list is a charming calf located in Akasaka, Minata Ward. Akasaka is known for being close to TBS, one of Japan's major TV stations, so if you're lucky, you might spot a celebrity or TV staff around the station. The area is more famous for its tranquil streets lined with upscale residents and quiet buildings than for bustling city life. This calf, which doubles as a lodging facility, exudes a calm atmosphere that seems almost out of place in bustling Minata Ward. Its exterior resembles a tranquil, old folk house. Housed in a 70-year-old renovated residence, the calf on the ground floor features exhibitions, while the second floor serves as a one-room hostel. It feels like a cozy lounge, 
perfect for a quiet break. Here, you can choose from various coffee types and enjoy a hand-dripped brew, which might take a little time but is definitely worth the wait for its crisp taste. I ordered an iced coffee paired with a homemade scone. The cafe also offers a great selection of treats like sweet bean toast, French toast, and cookies. This spot is popular among foreign visitors, and it's impressive how well informed they are about such historical places in Japan. It makes me realize how much more there is for us locals to discover about Tokyo and Japan. This calf is a hidden gem in Akasaka, perfect for a quick break. It's a bit off the beaten path, so if you're in the area, I highly recommend stopping by. The calf is particularly appealing to history enthusiasts and travelers who want to experience Tokyo and Japan from a historical perspective. It's a place where you can ponder the role and evolution of the location you're visiting. Though staying overnight might be a bit pricey at 40,000 yen, the ambience and convenient location make it a worthwhile experience. Moving on, we're about to explore an iconic calf located inside the new National Art Museum in the Roppongi district of Minata Ward. Just about 20 minutes by bus or 15 minutes by train from the Shibuya area, Roppongi is not only home to high-end boutiques, sophisticated restaurants, bars, and clubs, but also a paradise for art lovers with destinations like the Mori Art Museum and the new National Art Museum. The museum's innovative design, by the world-renowned architect Kisho Kurokawa, features two large inverted concrete cones. The larger cone near the Roppongi entrance houses a restaurant on the third floor, while the smaller one on the Nagasaka side contains the Salon de Thron on the second floor. This architectural wonder, even featured in the movie Your Name, is a delight for the eyes. The Grand Calf on the second floor offers a mesmerizing view, creating an illusion of floating in the air, a reason why photographers flock here. I arrived around 11.05 am, just after opening, and it was already full, with people waiting patiently on chairs outside. The popularity of this calf given its location inside the new National Art Museum is quite evident. The calf serves a cake set for 1,540 yen, which includes your choice of cake and a coffee or tea iced options available. I chose the classic Gâteau Opera, but there are about six other varieties to choose from, each reflecting the high quality you'd expect from a museum calf. The name Ronde, meaning circular in French, aptly fits the calf floating in an inverted cone. The museum, designed with the concept of a museum in the forest, features a stunning 21, 6-meter high atrium with an all-glass ceiling, creating an open and artistic atmosphere. Next up, we're heading to a quaint calf in Asakusa, a place that probably needs no introduction to our viewers. Easily accessible, it's just about 35 minutes from Shibuya Station on the Ginza Line, 25 minutes from Shinjuku Station, and 20 minutes from Tokyo Station. One thing to remember in Asakusa, while there are many affordable dining options, eating while walking is a no-no. Make sure to use the eat-in spaces or enjoy your food in front of the shops. Located about a four-minute walk from Asakusabashi Station, in the residential area of Taito Ward, this calf is a serene escape housed in an old traditional Japanese house. When I arrived right at its opening time at a.m., there was only one other group there, allowing for a very relaxed and leisurely experience. It's a friendly place frequented by regulars, fostering a sense of community among locals. This is not just a coffee shop, but also a space showcasing lattice work crafts, reflecting the downtown charm of Asakusabashi. The calf was started by an owner passionate about product and furniture design, aiming to promote Japanese traditional crafts. The building, a renovated 70-year-old sake brewery, blends traditional Japanese aesthetics with a modern twist. The owner himself designed the space, keeping the high ceilings for an airy feel and creating a cozy atmosphere with a raised seating area. Some chairs and tables are original designs by the owner, adding a personal touch to the space. The calf attracts a diverse crowd, including many solo male customers. It's more than just a coffee spot. They also offer meals like taco rice and hayashi rice. 
It serves as a meeting place for locals, a spot to catch up with friends or make new acquaintances. Let's move on to a cafe in Kichijoji, a charming neighborhood in Tokyo. Kichijoji is famous for Inakashira Park and its picturesque Inakashira Pond, where you can enjoy a leisurely boat ride. The Swan Boats, accommodating up to two adults and to children, are a popular choice, especially during the cherry blossom season when the views from the pond are stunning. It's a family-friendly activity, with easy-to-reach handles for kids to steer while the adults do the rowing. The CAF boasts about seven counter seats and around six to seven table seats, with a large window and an outdoor terrace. Its exterior and interior exude a Western-style ambience, reminiscent of a Meiji-era building. Complete with antique decorations and a serene, luxurious atmosphere, surprisingly close to the station. I ordered a cake set for 1,300 yen which included iced coffee and a lemon cheesecake. The lemon cheesecake, listed at the top of the menu a rarity was a delightful surprise. Its cookie crust with a hint of saltiness was addictive and the cheesecake itself was refreshingly light with a subtle sweetness, making it easy to finish. They also serve lunch, so a lunch followed by a cake set could be a great option. Apart from lemon cheesecake, they have classics like Mont Blanc and caramel cake. The calf has a calm, sophisticated atmosphere, attracting a refined clientele. Let's take a look at a hidden gem of a calf located in the bustling Shimbashi area of Minata Ward. Known as the Salaryman's Town, Shimbashi has a rich history dating back to the Edo period, flourishing with samurai residences and later becoming a hub of activity. With the opening of Japan's first railway between Shimbashi and Yokohama in the Meiji era, post-war, it was a lively spot with a thriving black market, where it was said you could find anything. In the midst of this vibrant area, I found this calf, which proved to be an unexpected quiet spot even during lunchtime around p.m. on a weekday a real hidden treasure. Located near Shimbashi in the Italian town in Shiodome, it's frequented by local workers and residents. Moving on, we're heading to a calf in Shibuya. As mentioned in last week's video about the top 20 Japanese souvenirs available at Shibuya's Don Quijote, this area has become increasingly popular with international visitors post-COVID. The iconic Shibuya Scramble Crossing, bustling with tourists taking photos, is a sight to behold. The calf I'm introducing today perfectly encapsulates Shibuya's diverse character. It's a hot spot for both locals and foreign tourists, often reaching full capacity. The exterior is designed with a predominant blue color, giving off a foreign, classic vibe, while the interior features wood accents, creating a casual yet classical atmosphere reminiscent of an overseas pub. The ambience inside is inviting and comfortable, ideal for unwinding. This cafe is a go-to spot for those seeking authentic specialty coffee in Shibuya or wanting to explore different coffee flavors. It's also a welcoming place for anyone wishing to enjoy coffee and sweets in a relaxed setting. The staff are knowledgeable and ready to share insights about coffee, making it an approachable place for those new to the coffee scene. I tried their Lily Blend, a medium roast that offers a perfect balance of bitterness with floral and citrus notes, making it exceptionally drinkable. This blend, exclusive to the Shibuya store, was created to honor the legacy of a previous calf named Coffee House Nishia, run by the owner Mr. Nishia for about eight years before Rec Coffee opened in March 2022. The Lily, a symbol associated with Mr. Nishia, inspired this unique coffee. The calf latte made with the Lily Blend Espresso is a great choice for those who prefer a milder coffee experience. Their dessert menu includes several options, with the popular pudding recipe inherited from the previous owner. The whipped cream on top incorporates the Lily Blend, offering a subtle coffee bitterness. Other homemade sweets are delivered directly from their main store in Hakata, showcasing a commitment to quality and variety. Continuing our calf tour, let's visit a charming spot just a seven-minute walk from Koenji Station. Opened in 2021, this calf was founded with a vision of creating a space as familiar and welcoming as a sibling's home, aiming to be a daily stop for the locals. One of its highlights is the homemade cakes made right in the calf. 
The calf is predominantly popular with female patrons, and its photogenic setting suggests it's on its way to becoming even more popular. The interior design features a chic, concrete style, creating a sophisticated atmosphere, pet-friendly and cozy. The calf has about four small tables, making it more suitable for casual chats rather than spending the entire day. The calf specializes in using seasonal ingredients for their Basque cheesecakes like corn in August. This time, they were offering shine, muscat and baked chestnut flavors until the end of September. Their non-fruit cakes are a unique find, especially the gluten-free options, adding a healthy twist. On my visit, I tried their seasonal baked chestnut Basque cheesecake for 650 yen, along with an iced coffee. The cinnamon aroma and crumbly chestnut texture made the small yet satisfying cake a delightful treat. We're off to a newly opened calf in Setagai Award, a leisurely 10-minute walk from Yoga Station. This calf, intriguingly named after a Beatles song, boasts a warehouse-like exterior with large glass windows facing the sidewalk, allowing plenty of sunlight to stream in. The calf has a relaxed vibe, typically staffed by two people one in the kitchen and another casually working on a laptop at the counter. When I inquired about their seasonal ice cream, they were quick to bring over the menu. They use coffee beans from Woodbury Coffee and Yoga, offering a range of coffee-centered drinks like lattes. The calf was started by a fashion company based in Setagaya and Sita, dedicated to providing a feel-good lifestyle, encompassing clothing, food, housing, and entertainment, doubling as an office and staff dining area. The name Here Comes the Sun, taken from a Beatles song, sets the tone, with the calf often playing popular Western music, including Beatles tracks, creating an upbeat atmosphere. Currently, the menu features three types of pancakes, affogato, and ice cream perfect for a light tea break. It's an ideal stop during a stroll in the area. So, how did you find our top 10 Tokyo cafes? Starting the day early with a calf visit and then heading out for sightseeing can be a great plan, especially now that festivals, fireworks, and illumination events are making a comeback post-COVID. See you in next year's video. Bye.